In this video, we'll look at the equation for BaCO3 plus H2O. This is barium carbonate plus water. So we'll have our solid barium carbonate and we'll put that in water. So we have our solid liquid water. So the question is when we put barium carbonate in water, what happens? What's the equation for this taking place? Barium is a metal and then CO3, that's a group of nonmetals. So we have metal and nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. Often they're soluble, but let's check the solubility rules. We're looking for barium or for the carbonate. So here it says most carbonates are insoluble with a few exceptions, group one elements like sodium carbonate or potassium carbonate, and if you had ammonium carbonate. But barium, that's in group two, so it's gonna be insoluble. We put it in water and it doesn't dissolve. So really there's not much we can write over here since it doesn't dissolve. It's at the bottom of the test tube or beaker. Do note that when we say something's insoluble, some of it's gonna dissolve. So there will be some of this barium carbonate that dissolves and dissociates into its ions. And we could write that, barium is in group two, so that's two plus carbonate ion, good one to remember, two minus. So we could say we have our barium ion, Ba2 plus, and then we'd have that carbonate ion, CO3, two minus. And the little bit that dissolved would be aqueous. It would be dissolved in water. So we write AQ for each of those. But most of it would be a solid and just sit at the bottom of the test tube. Sometimes you'll see it written with the water above the arrow. It's the same thing, just another way to write it. And even sometimes you'll see H2O on this side of the equation as well. But since we have aqueous here, this AQ, that tells us that it's dissolved in water. So typically I don't write that. So this is the equation for barium carbonate plus water. Most of it won't dissolve, it's insoluble, but what little bit does will break apart into the barium ion and the carbonate ion. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.